tips and tricks. Homemade jig to assist with soldering. Here's how it's made. The base is a flat wooden piece with holes drilled to insert magnets. The key detail is that the magnets are flush with the wood surface. A few steel rods were cut to hold the brass rods in place. Since brass doesn't stick to magnets but steel does, the steel rods allow you to securely hold whatever you're working on. I always use soldering paste because it contains flux, which allows the solder to spread evenly and bond well with metal surfaces. This flux-based compound enhances solder flow, prevents oxidation, and improves joint quality. It also helps secure components, minimizes heat damage, and ensures a cleaner, more efficient soldering process. Perfect for precision work, it creates strong and reliable connections. With the help of the steel rods in this part of the video, I'm able to hold the brass securely, giving me an extra set of hands. This ensures that the work is firmly held in place. In this part, you can see how the jig makes my work easier by securely holding everything I've done so far. This is just a test piece, nothing particular. Additionally, the crocodile clips help prevent previously soldered joints from melting by acting as a heat sink and transferring heat away. Once all the soldering is complete and you're satisfied with your work, you can clean it using a wire brush attached to a motor to remove any excess solder. You can also smooth the edges with a file, as shown in the video. That's it for this tutorial. You can watch the rest of the video to see more examples of what else can be soldered. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video.